Hello. Today we're going to draw a dog, Collie, and we're going to use the grid technique to help us draw more accurately. It's going to be this one here. But I would also would like for you to take your objects and imagine them as geometrical shapes. Okay, like this here. Again, this is uh, an illustration uh, for learning purposes, okay, for practice. It's a lesson. Uh, it's not for entertainment. To me, this is entertainment, but for many of us, it would be more of a lesson if you are interested in learning to draw. And there's always a lot of pride when we can say, I did it. I did it myself, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to use the centimeters. What I've done is I've taken the edge from the tip of his nose to the tip of the, the end of the tail and I've measured it and I went ahead and we're going to use the metric system, the metric measurements here. It's easier, <clears throat> but if you're good at the ruler and measurements, but it's the same thing if you would use your inches as to your centimeters but anyway we're gonna go ahead and use a metric system and I'm gonna try to balance it across here um, so I'm going to show you that when you use your ruler make sure that you check and see where the measurement begins okay so I'm gonna measure the distance I went ahead and set it up like this previously and I measured out every centimeter as you can see here is going to be five millimeters and then I did the same thing at the bottom and then I went ahead and did the line segments now I'm gonna be saying lines but they're not lines they're line segments and then uh, we did the same thing going down okay we did the same thing going down from the tip of his ear to the bottom of his foot over here and uh, we went ahead and did it and it gives us uh, six six um let's see okay right there it gives us six and a half um six centimeters and five millimeters so 65 is going to be the measurement for that one there and in this case you'll notice that i have them measured one to the second beginning with the second line one two three down to eleven okay and then at the end this here we're going to count it as one centimeter but here we see it as half five millimeters and then the same thing going down this way and in here you'll notice I have a b c d e f and this here is that so we can get a reference point the intersections and tell and it helps us in setting up our contours our lines okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go ahead and set up the measurements here but let me go ahead and show you so that if you are going to try to learn to draw using the grid, using this picture here uh, for learning purposes, the first line is going to be at two and a half centimeters. It's not perfectly centered, okay, from the edge of the paper down to the first line. And then from there, what we're going to do here is that for every centimeter we're going to change it to two in proportion to doing it over here so you're going to have um, one centimeter here on the paper but over here it's going to be two so if we have uh, from the edge of his nose from the tip of his nose to the end of his tail 11 and a half times two that's 23 it's uh, 11 for example 22 and half and half gives you one is 23 okay and then the same thing going out this way the different measurement is going to be 6 and 12 and one half of another one twice is one so it's 12 13 centimeters so i'm going to go ahead and measure across every two centimeters which is one over here then down then i'm going to label okay so I'm going to do that at the same time you can be doing it. This is a eight and a half by 11 uh, regular white paper. 
Uh, I'm not using fancy stuff or anything. It's just paper that you find at home and a, a ruler that you can get anywhere. And I'm gonna go ahead and start doing the measurements. Okay, so what I would like for you to do is to go ahead and follow with me. Again, two and a half from here this way. And then from the top of the edge of the paper down to this first line is we're gonna go with four centimeters. Okay, uh, from the top to the to the first line of the diagram here okay so let's go ahead and do that we go two and a half I am going to speed up the the, the video here once I set the measurements so that it doesn't take too much time but you can follow the measurements are on the paper. Please remember to subscribe, like, comment, and share. We thank you very much. Thank you. And you can do it on your phones. If you look in here, you can push like, share, subscribe. Thank you. Okay, now what we're going to do is, what I'm going to do is, well, let's go ahead and write the title here. It's a Collie. Again, this is just a lesson, a teaching lesson on how to draw. And what you want to do is, you want to follow the intersections of these geometrical shapes so that we later can go ahead and give it its final form. So what I'm going to look for is I'm going to look and see where the intersections are at. I'm going to make dots on the lines of the where I think they they look like. So another easy way to do it if you want to get it as perfectly as possible is that remember that any measurement here is twice over here. So if you get from this intersection of number two here with a top line and you look, it's almost five milli, uh, millimeters. So then I will go here and it would be one millimeter, uh, one centimeter. Okay. So the, the five millimeters here is one centimeter here. And then you look at the nose over here in the corner, which is almost touching A. Okay. Here you will see, and if you want it as perfectly as possible, you can measure it. That would give us about two millimeters and that would be about four millimeters over here. But uh, what I would like for you to do is to do it visually so that you can start forcing the brain to see this. We can always change the, um, the lines that we draw here or the points. So what I'm gonna do first, I'm gonna get again, set up points. And I think I'm gonna do this first squares, every four squares, okay? So that we can go ahead and set it up. After I start the first part here, we are going to speed up the video so you can see develop and you can always uh, um, play around with the recording back or forth of the video. Okay, so here we go. So what I'm going to be looking at is I'm going to start from the left to the right and checking and making points. Just like when um, we used to buy those little drawing uh, booklets uh, with dots you connect the dots and you had a picture it's about the same thing we're gonna do but in our brain we want to work in proportions we're dealing with the proportions we want to get a little more uh, uh, technical about it we're dealing with proportions that later I can adjust if I need to 
Okay, so here we go. And there you have, and there you have kind of an outline. It's not perfect yet. You would have, you come back and do your adjustments. You erase your lines and so on that you don't need. You start working on your proportions, your shading, and so on, what you might need for your dog. So uh, again, this is just a guide, uh, something that to help us to better draw but at least you get an idea as to how to get started and you start working on the features and characteristics of the uh, of the, the type of dog that you're drawing or animal whatever it is and you start adding or taking whatever you need to do to your picture and then when you draw your grid lines they're drawn lightly so that when you erase them you don't see them but now for the videos the uh, lines are a little darker so that you can follow them and there uh, again here's the uh, one that I did before and here's this one naturally again like I'm saying it's not perfect but it gives us an idea as to how to go about it again this is just a illustration a lesson uh, as to how to go ahead and work just to summarize every centimeter here is two centimeters here you add all this up if you want to center it or you want to make it smaller whatever you want to do you want to change the measurements to inches instead or well, depending on what size paper you have and then you can draw your um, environment okay so I hope that this helps you in, in, uh, in working and having a little more confidence on it. And with practice, eventually you won't need the grid lines. So I hope that you learned something and I would appreciate your subscriptions, your likes, your comments, your sharing. Um, and we see you again. Thank you very much.